three. We've got a revolutionary new real-time analog swing, and we want to make sure that you get the hang of it before we turn you loose on the links. Check out Tiger as he rips one right down the middle with a nice straight drive. And pay close attention to his transition between the backswing and the downswing. The timing is crucial. Now you try it. Keep it in the fairway and hit. Check out Tiger as he rips one right down the middle with a nice straight drive. And pay close attention to his transition between the backswing and the downswing. The timing is crucial. Check out Tiger as he rips one right down the middle. Check out Tiger as he rips one right down the middle with a nice straight drive and pay close attention to his transition between the backswing and the downswing. The timing is crucial. Now you try it. Keep it in the fairway and hit it more than 260 yards to move on to your next challenge. Nice going. Getting up and down is one of the keys to low scoring. Here, Tiger has chosen his sand wedge from about 30 yards and is going with an approach shot to get it to the green. You can zoom to your target with the press of a button to check it out before you make your shot. Tiger's pretty good, but with some practice, you can be too. Knock an approach onto the green and you'll advance to the next skill. That'll do it. Sometimes you have an obstacle between yourself and the flag, and you need to hit the ball high to clear it. Tiger chooses his flop shot for these situations, and you should too. Choose what club to hit based on your distance to the hole. A lob wedge would work nicely from this position. Now you try. Take a nice full swing and watch it drop out of the sky and land like an old dog curling up by the fire. Hit one close to the pin. When you're in the trees, you have to keep it low in order to advance the ball towards the green. As Tiger will tell you, your punch shot is just the trick for this shot, and typically your low and mid irons will work best. You're up. Don't think you have to fly it all the way to the target. Sometimes the best play is to try to roll it up to the front of the green. Knock it on the putting surface and you can move on. It's easy to grip it and rip it full bore, but sometimes Tiger finds himself between clubs and he has to take something off a shot. Tiger can hit his lob wedge 100 yards with a full swing, so he shortens his backswing when he has to hit it shorter. To ease off on the power using your full shot, try taking the club back slowly and then push forward once you've reached the desired height on your backswing. If you can hit a shot on the green from this distance, I'll bet you'll never find yourself in a spot you can't handle. Well, not quite. Put it on the dance floor now. So let me show you my dolphin gameplay setting for running the games in 4K. So let me go to the general first. I'm using the DirectX 11. You can easily use the DirectX 12. Only the downside is that when using DirectX 12, you cannot run the benchmarking tool. So that's why I'm using the DirectX 11. For me, both of them give me the same result. For the adapter, I'm using the dedicated GPU, which is the GTX 6060 Ti. 
or if you are going to play games in 4k for the dolphin game give emulator i will suggest you to at least go with the gtx 1050 or gtx uh, 6060 or ti or higher graphic card because it will help you to play games smoothly and you can see so i leave the aspect ratio in auto sometime you running the games in 16 by 9 dip the frame rate and increase the gpu load for the enhancement i'm using the 4k 6x for the internal resolution and for anti-aliasing i'm using the 2x if i try to go with 4x or 8x it will increase my gpu load when i am running the games with 2x it will only increase the gpu load up to 50 percent some games will go above 50 percent that's why i need some space left for the gpu maybe some some games are rendering a scene which is very heavy so the fps is going to dip if i'm running at 4x or 8x the game is going to struggle a lot to run so 2x is the maximum i, I can recommend it so this all of the setting and everything remain the same for hack and advanced now let me show you for the config everything remain the same i didn't change anything so yeah these were the setting for the dolphin emulator to run the games in 4k you are free to use my game footage file make sure just to give me a credit to my gmail geek channel name and then i have done the entire gamecube games library in 4k so every day i'm uploading sing one video at least for it i hope you can subscribe share my video and then above all i want you to leave a comment to let me know do you think the game is playable how is the audio quality how is the frame rate let's start the discussion in the comment section box below gamecube revolution gamecube will live forever subscribe and bye